Water's flowing. That's a good sign. That sprinkler's running. Oh, now the... What other ones do we need to start? Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday. I don't know if you can see it with the sun glare. There's one sprinkler running over there. I could go start the other one. Or... I get in a baler. Let's do that. Let's get in a baler. You couldn't write this stuff. One minute in, my plan's already changed. I gotta get pivots running. And then, hopefully, I can get in the baler. I need to get that done. Oh, just told this one to fire up. Open the valve so we can flush out the filter. Ooh, that was black. Oh man, it smells amazing. Gonna stand up wind a little bit more. I really hope the camera picks up how nasty that water looks. Wheat's looking good. So that's one of the midnight plantings. That's one of the midnight plantings. Or midnight field work at least. Let's pivot, no wheat. We got baby hay where it's at. Let this flush a minute. I'm gonna let the sprinkler pressure up. This is still funny to look at. Cameron learned it is very hard to guess where 180 degrees from the pivot is. I mean, you just look and you think, yeah, he started off about right. And then as he got closer, he realized he was way off because 180, is actually over here. To me, this seems wrong, but it's right. Anywho, another pivot up and running. As you can see, we got a lot of stuck nozzles on this one. We gotta, we gotta make a few changes. Another one up and going. Okay, everything we can have running today is running. We get more water turning on at noon. That's where the two new little pivots are on that one. Yippee skippy. On the move, finally. Got about, I don't know, 30, 40 acres to bale and that'll finish all of our baling for 2023. Uh, a little delayed though, because I was talking with the guys in the shop, figuring out what to get in for some new projects. Just, we're always trying to figure out, okay, what's next? What's next? And the big project we need to get started on is cleaning equipment. Um, choppers have been just kind of dusted off, as I like to say. Just start daily blowing them off. Now we need to strip down a bunch of shields and spend about three hours on each machine with that air compressor, just in every nook and granny we can. It just makes it so much nicer to work on in the winter when you're just not covered in dirt at all times. You miss a lot, and you still get covered, but at least you can say you tried. It's kind of hard to see. Hopefully the camera picks up better than my screwed up eyes. But there is some color coming out there. That was our last planted wheat. That was one where you guys were with me in the VT in the morning. Looks good. Sprinkler goes a little farther than it needs to on that edge. And there's our windrows. Not, not a whole lot, but it should make a handful of bales, especially with this baler. I bailed with the other one yesterday because this one was broke down. I don't know what it is about this newer baler, but it picks up lighter stuff so much better. There it is, guys. Last windrow. 2023. There it is. Bailing 2023. DUN. Done. Five bales off 30 acres. Or actually, just shy of 30 acres. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, glad that adventure's over. Started in May. Here it is the 8th of November, I think. Glad we're done. What's next? 
swung by the shop. Brandon crew was just getting going. Maddie brought home like 80 from the sale yesterday. So they're going to get those done before lunch, before the wind really starts picking up and before we got to pitch for a whole bunch of weeds. Uh, walked into the shop, Cameron and Glenn are in there. They've got my chopper, most of the shields stripped off of it so we can start hitting it with the air compressor. But Hector brought in the blue feed truck, complaining the load cell, something's not functioning right, where you'll be dumping in feed and all of a sudden the number will bounce all over the place. So they're trying to diagnose that at the moment. So they got everything handled there. So I'm getting started with tillage. The main thing I'm wanting to do is get around to our pivots that Jill has already manured and rip these edges so I don't have to worry about water from the pivots running into what needs ripped. It'll either be muddy or it'll, with these colder temperatures, it'll want it to freeze a little bit more. So I was just checking the circle track on this one and I wanted to get the this end to this end so that way I could start down here. But yeah, there's half circle here, quarter circle there, quarter circle there, quarter circle there half circle on the ridge down there we're way behind but it sounds like somehow the feedlot that was begging for people to come home manure this summer is already out of manure and nobody extra went to go haul it was just the usual people hauling so i don't know what happened there there's there's something weird to that story either way i'm gonna get a little bit of tillage done at some point we gotta get some fall tillage in Got the ends worked on four of the five fields. But now it's lunchtime, gotta hurry up and go eat cause you got water turning on. And that's gonna be a mess this afternoon. First though, I gotta hike back to my pickup cause my baler, they were working on it yesterday and left it at the shop. Well, now I parked it back where it needs to be. So now I gotta walk back to the shop. Okay, short lunch out of the way. <clears throat> That was weird. Um, now to go see what kind of pitch parking we gotta do. Nothing like eating some white chicken chili and then going to work manual labor stuff. That's a, that's a great combination. Com <laughs> Words are hard. Water has reached the bottom. This is the last pond on this ditch was not near as bad as I thought it would be. Hell, that was easier than the little ditch we did yesterday. But now, it's after lunch. I got to get started shifting gears here. I got to start getting ready for our County Farm Bureau meeting tonight. It's our annual meeting, banquet, whatever you want to call it, down in Holly. I've got a whole pile of crap I got to get done and be down there by 6.30. Well, before 6.30. I think I'm done shopping. Got two jackets for our guests of honor a couple of tools from deer a couple of bottles of sunflower oil from local uh, refinery place some meat certificates for the local meat processor now I'm getting sprinklers up and going i'm zigzagging all over the place next project i gotta go convert a dvd back onto the computer because i made it we got it made into a dvd because another guy had a disc burner i don't even have a computer that has a, <laughs> a disc drive for an annual meeting we held at our local theater that was kind of one of the weirdest biggest rushes i've ever had in my life Whoa. is watching yes thank you watching our harvest on a movie theater screen that was a lot of fun i want to do that one again but i keep getting outvoted on that um but either way so now I got to put this back onto the computer because somebody said we should have a video playing during dinner and that's the only video we got at the moment because I don't have enough time to make a new one. No, oh well, maybe next year. All the blinking lights out there. I don't even know if you can see them after I say that. There's one right there through that window. Sprinklers are running. It's supposed to only get down to 34 tonight. So we're going to let them keep going. I'm all cleaned up, showered up. I got an hour to get about a half an hour away, so that'll put me there about right. Uh, luckily, 
the guy who was bringing the projector forgot it, thank God, because I was having hell getting the video put back together. And because it's a video I put together three years ago, I absolutely hate it. It's amazing how you're, you're just editing over time, you just watch it and you go, this is horrible. Whatever. Thanks for the bright lights there, asshole. Anyways, guys, there's not much for you to see now. <laughs> I'm not used to this dark, dark by 5.30. Well, it is nice for the sun to be coming up before 8 a.m. finally. Anywho, guys, I'll catch you in the next one whenever that is. Obviously, like I said in the last one with Harvest slowing down, videos are going to be slow. Just because there's not a whole lot I can show you. Unless I have a day like today where I'm bouncing around by myself. I need a reason to talk to myself. See you guys later.